during your career as astronomer or Air Force officer, you were offered a number of jobs. And you choose the one that was presented to you in the interview as, I quote, it'll be fun, but we can't tell you anything about it. So can you tell us more about it now? <laughs> Uh, not much. Uh, other not than much. I, I, I was, uh, you know, I had gone on active duty in the United States Air Force. Uh, I was an astronomer, uh, you know, at the National Solar Observatory. Uh, there was a U.S. Air Force detachment there, uh, and it, uh, my tour was up, and I wasn't sure I wanted to stay in the Air Force, but I had a, an opportunity to to be interviewed for various offices, and uh, in the in the Space and Missile Center, which is where the development of of future security systems are. So I, I talked to three or four of the offices, and, and one of them, that the, the, they said, we can't tell you anything of what we're doing. And so they, the, you know, they, they went to the, the, this big, looked like a bank vault door, and they, some buzzers went off. And, and so then somebody came out and, and said, just a minute. And they went back in, and you could, you could hear this noise. And, and you would open the door, there were these flashing red lights. And I said, what are those for? And they said, it's for you because we want to tell everybody there is somebody that is not cleared on what we do in here. So they took me in through this maze and I talked to a, to a colonel. And uh, he was a very kind of, you know, uh, he looked like somebody imagined a military leader as a colonel. And, and, and he said, look, I can't tell you anything of what we do, but I trust me, it'll be really cool. So did you believe that? Uh, I did. Choose, I, I took the job. It, and you it was, accept it? It was really cool. I still can't tell you in detail what it was, but it, uh, uh, it showed me the importance of, uh, you know, space is very important uh, for the economy. It's, it's very important for, for a nation's security. And maybe most important, it's important for the human spirit. But I'm interested, uh, what does it take uh, mm -hmm. to work on highly classified programs? The most important thing, I think, is that you have an ability to contribute. And uh, uh, I had been uh, awarded the, the Air Force's Outstanding Research and Development Award, is why I got set up with this, uh, with this uh, opportunity. And it's, uh, uh, it's really a technical background. Uh, they needed people to, there were some challenges they had in certain pieces of equipment that, that weren't working right. And, uh, uh, they were a, a really interesting challenge. It involved some of my expertise in optics and, and uh, electronics. So it was, uh, it was uh, I, th I think, what it takes to work in any program, you know, whether it's a highly sensitive one or anything else, is, uh, is uh, you have to be able to contribute. Did your family or your friends try uh, to get a secret out of you? Sometimes well, people always try, try to get a secret, but the most interesting is my wife. Uh, the, uh, it turned out she had gotten a job in the same, you know, development center uh, in a different office. And uh, uh, it turned out what she was doing, she was also working on some highly classified things, but we weren't allowed to tell each other. Uh, although it, it turned out a, a, about a year later, we were at the annual Christmas party for her office. And her boss came over and he starts talking about some of these things that, that, that I was told I wasn't supposed to tell her. And I was looking very shocked. And, uh, and she was looking shocked because she was told that if she wasn't supposed to tell me anything, it's, oh, by the way, you're both cleared on the same project. This is an official introduction. And uh, so, but it, it, neither of us would say anything to each other. Uh, but uh, after that, you know, we, we found out we had the same accesses. And okay, but didn't she try to tell you like, Honey, if there is something I need to know, you, you must tell me because... No, she was pretty good. No. Yeah. <laughs> She's, you know, my wife is very... She keeps things, uh, you know, very, very uh, close hold. Uh, not so some of my other friends, but they always... If you worked in a sensitive program, they always try to play what I call 20 questions. You know, they ask you some question is, uh, well, I know you can't tell me this, but uh, is it about space things or ground things? And what well, if you said space? And they said, are they big satellites or small satellites? And you, you go through 20 questions to try to figure out what, uh, you know, and it, 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 that's an, a game people play. So you have to stop them at the beginning and say, nope, I'm not supposed to say anything. What was your role in the Star Wars program? And I don't mean the yeah. George Lucas film saga, yeah. but I mean the Ronald Reagan initiative. Well, it turns out when I was working on this classified program in Los Angeles, uh, the, the, I had solved some major problem that they were concerned about. And uh, so they, I was uh, selected for early promotion to major. I was a captain. And that's a, that sort of marks you as somebody they should watch, you know, positively. Not. 
And uh, uh, the, uh, the Air Force knew that, that there was something going on with, with space and missile defense. Uh, so it turned out the generals that I worked for said, uh, they said, well, it's time for you to get another assignment. We'd like you to go to the Pentagon. And they had me interview with a, with a key person that uh, he himself didn't know that, that Ronald Reagan was going to make this speech. And I arrived the day after Reagan had given the speech, and it was quite a flurry of activity. Uh, but in the end, uh, they said, well, we need people right now, and you have the right background. So I ended up uh, being assigned uh, in the summer of 1983 to the study team that uh, I was the executive officer to, that, uh, uh, that basically recommended the technologies that we were going to go into on what was called the Strategic Defense Initiative, but, and the later became known as Star Wars. But it was a very exciting time.